So this 12 year old boy here, he's about to go to prison for life. Let's call him Sting, and Sting is a huge fan of pro wrestling. He loves watching WWE, his favorite was always The Rock. So one day, Sting's mom, who we'll call Mom, Mom gets a call from her friend asking if she can babysit her daughter. And the daughter we'll call Six, cause she's six. So friend asks Mom if she can babysit Six, and Mom's like, of course, bring her over. So there Mom is, babysitting Six. And Sting's there too, and Mom feeds them, and then she lets them watch TV. Then she heads upstairs to lay down, leaving Sting and Six downstairs to watch TV. And Sting, the big WWE fan, he doesn't want to watch TV. He wants to wrestle. So he and Six, they start play fighting and he's showing her some moves. But Sting is much bigger than her. He's around 170 pounds, while she is about 50 pounds. So he's throwing her around the room and he's like putting her in a headlock and he's doing all kinds of moves. And he's getting really rough. Not to mention, they're getting loud. They're getting so loud that at one point, mom calls out for them to quiet the hell down. Now at this point, Sting and Six have only been downstairs alone for about 45 minutes. And at around the 45 minute mark is when Sting goes upstairs and he goes into his mom's room because something's wrong. And Sting wakes his mom up and he says, Mom, Six isn't breathing. So mom jumps out of bed and then she rushes downstairs to check on her. And she finds Six laying there in the living room floor, not moving, unresponsive. And mom immediately calls 911, but unfortunately, it's too late. Six doesn't make it. Sting had accidentally unalived her, being too rough with those wrestling moves. But then, the next day, the medical examiner performs an autopsy on Six, and she finds that Six has 35 injuries, including a cracked skull, a broken rib, all kinds of stuff. And because of that, the medical examiner rules Six's death a homicide, which means they have to charge 12-year-old Sting with murder. So then police go and arrest Sting, and he's 12, but here's his mugshot. And not only that, because of the way the laws are set up in that state, and because it's first degree murder, they have to charge him as an adult. Which means if he gets found guilty by law, he has to be sentenced to life. So then, boom, it's two years later. Sting is 14 years old now, and he's about to go on trial. So they come to Sting, and they offer him a plea deal. Plead guilty, and you won't get life in prison. Instead, you'll get three years of juvenile detention and 10 years probation. Not a bad deal. But Sting's mom believes this is all absurd. He was just a kid playing around. He's innocent. No jury will find him guilty. So she advises Sting not to take the deal. So he turns down the plea deal, and then guess what? A jury finds him guilty of first-degree murder. So at 14 years old, Sting goes to prison for life, which makes him the youngest person in the United States to ever receive a life sentence. Oh, but it gets worse. So Sting is in a juvenile prison for three years, and his attorney appeals his sentence, and after three years, it's actually overturned, because they argue that at 14 years old, Sting was not competent to stand trial in the adult court system. And it works, so now they have to let Sting go. And then they're gonna straighten all that out, and then they're gonna retrial him. But instead of having him go through the whole trial process again, they offer him a plea deal again. Instead of going back to trial and facing life in prison, one year house arrest and 10 years probation. And this is a really good deal. So this time Sting takes it. And now at 18 years old, he's finally walking out of prison. No life sentence. He's finally out and he's happy. And now he has his whole life ahead of him. Yeah! Until about a year later, after he's out, Sting is at someone he knows apartment. And he gets this weird idea, and so he calls Domino's and orders a pizza. And when the pizza delivery man shows up, Sting suddenly, like out of nowhere, pulls out a pew pew and demands that he give him all his money. Sting has decided to rob the pizza guy. So pizza guy's like, F this and he runs away and he goes back to Domino's and he immediately calls the police and so police they show up to the apartment they identify Sting and they arrest him here's his mugshot and they charge him with armed robbery violating his parole and a bunch of other stuff he goes back to court pleads guilty and after all that beating a life sentence and everything he ends up getting sentenced to 30 years in prison and all this happened in Florida so shout out to Florida